So let's look at a couple of examples in which we estimate the mean of a population. So in our first example, let's, let's say we're estimating the Young's modulus of our rock. This is our elastic modulus. And say we make uh, n equals uh, 35 measurements on 35 samples of this uh, rock outcrop. And, um, and what we find is, sorry, we sample it once and we make, right, we sample it once and we make n equals 35 measurements of the Young's modulus, E. And what we find is that the mean value is equal to 101.0 gigapascals. And we get a standard deviation between our measurements of 10.0 GPA. So again, our goal is to find the true mean Young's modulus of our rock. And we do that by saying that mu is equal to our estimate of the mean, our, center, our estimate, well, our best guess of the mean, which is x bar plus and minus z alpha over 2 times s. Okay, so in this situation, so we have to define alpha over 2. So in this case, let's say alpha over 2 is equal to 5%. So 1 minus alpha, alpha not 8, in this case is equal to 90%. So we're going to define the 90% confidence interval on our uh, the mean Young's modulus of our rock. So once we've defined alpha, we can look at a table of uh, z values. And this one you can download on, on our course website. And we have to look for, so th um, this sh these numbers show the cumulative probability of this left-hand tail of the uh, normal distribution. So we want something uh, close to 0 0.05. And it looks like there's one around here, right? And that corresponds to a z value of minus 1.6 4. So this is the, the, the columns here for the the second decimal on the z values. So an alpha over 2 of 0 0.05 is minus 1.64. So that means that z um, alpha over 2 is equal to minus 1.64. And therefore mu is equal to 101 plus and minus 1.64 times our standard deviation, which was 10, divided by the square root of 35. And that gives us 101 plus and minus 2.77 GPA. So in our second example, we're going to measure the same we're going to look at the same rock outcrop, and we're going to measure Young's modulus. But this time, we're going to make only five measurements in our sampling of Young's modulus from this rock. And because we're using only five measurements, we, we can't use, uh, we shouldn't use a normal distribution. We, sh we should use the T distribution to more accurately represent the um, the confidence interval on our uh, the true Young's modulus of our outcrop. So with this, let's let's use the same value of alpha. 
So 10% significance level to give a confidence level of um, 90%. And in this case, our degrees of freedom is n minus 1 is equal to 4. So to estimate mu, again, we take our mean of our sample, plus and minus this time t of alpha over 2 and nu times our estimate for the standard deviation of our uh, sample means, which is the standard deviation within our sample divided by the square root of n. So in this example, let's assume our x bar is the same as in the first example. That was 101 GPA. And um, our uh, standard deviation within our sample is the same. And that's 10 divided by the square root of 5 in this case. So now let's, let's find t. And to do that, we have to look t up in a table. So our significance level is 10, and our number of degrees of freedom is 4. So we under the 4 row, we look under 10. And so the t value that we need is 2.132. So let's write that in here. 2.132. To give us our uncertainty for mu, and this gives us 101 plus and minus 9.5 GPA. And so you see that if we compare that solution with what we got in our first example, this is uh, this is for a large sample size the um, uncertainty is quite a bit um, less for the large sample size uh, compared to the small sample size. And one factor is simply because we have a, um, a smaller n in the second example, so that, so that tends to make this term larger. But the other fact is that because of our smaller sample size, we're using a, a a t distribution, which itself is slightly broader uh, than the normal distribution. So this, because we have a smaller sample size, we have a larger uncertainty um, for, for the true Young's modulus, even though the confidence interval is the same.